Good morning intro. Uh, happy e-learning day. Uh, today we're going to go over uh, painting your yellow and violet pieces on your color wheel. And you can see I've got a little design going here and I have already filled in the background of my yellow wedge here. So everything is yellow. The only thing I haven't done anything to are the parts of my logo design. Same thing with the violet. All of the background, except for that, is filled in with violet, except for the parts to my logo. So that's what I want to really focus on today with you guys. Uh, I have set out all the materials that I'm going to need. Uh, you want a nice uh, open area, flat space would be ideal, a kitchen table, a kitchen counter, a desktop, <coughs> something like that. I have uh, pre-mixed a, a few colors, tints and shades of my yellow and purple that I'm going to need. I have my flat brush, I have my round brush, I have a container of water, and I have my uh, chart here where the circle in the middle, that is my Prismacolor Violet. That's the color that I want to try to match, and you can see some experimentations I've already done trying to match that violet. Right. <coughs> Sorry. Let's look at the yellow wedge and the two open areas that are part of my logo design. That's what I'm going to focus on first. One of these shapes needs to be a pure hue violet. All right. And you decide how you want to do this. I think I am going to make my oh the pure hue violet and because this is a thin space and it's a curved space i'm going to use my round brush and i dip it in the paint and remember we don't we don't scoop and glop you only get just a little bit of paint on the toe of the brush kind of all around on all sides and then i'm going to place the tip of the brush in the middle and then i'm going to slowly walk the tip of that brush up to the edge this way, up to the edge that way, and then when I get down here to the curved part, I'm going to stay in the middle and then slowly walk the toe of the brush up to the edge on both ways, both sides, or both directions. Alright. If you make a mistake with the paint, you get it where it's not supposed to be, my advice to you is to leave it alone. Don't try to wipe it off while it's wet. You're just going to smear it and it'll be awful. If you wait until you come back to school and the paint is dry, I have a little trick for scraping paint uh, off of things that it works really well if you accidentally paint, get paint in the wrong spot. All right. I'm going to pause on that one and I'm going to come down here to this part of my logo design. All right? And because this is mostly straight areas, I'm going to go to my flat brush and I'm going to make this one a tint of violet and I already have that made up. Remember to put the toe of your brush away from that edge and then slowly walk that color up to that line and then pull back and blend. That wasn't a lot of paint on the brush there. All right. Come down here to the yellow. Uh, don't forget, you're going to need uh, some paper towels. And uh, if you don't have a lot of paper towels handy or you're out of paper towels, an old t-shirt will work just fine. Uh, temper paint washes out pretty well. All right, let's see. All right. So I'm going to come down here to my violet wedge. I pr have pretty much everything in the background done, so I'm ready to work in my... Uh, 
yellows in my logo design. So I already have this pre-made. This is a light yellow. And then my pure hue yellow, I'll put down here. Now, if you have more than just a couple of shapes, let's say you have three logo shapes to paint inside a color wedge, make one of them your pure hue color, and then make one shape a tint, and then make the third one a desaturation. If you have more than three, then it's kind of up to you what you want to do with the rest of those. Uh, you have to have a pure hue, and then with the extra shapes, you decide if you're going to do a tint or a desaturation or shade of that color. All right, and then if you have more than two, you can do one of each. All right, so for today, I'd like for you to try to finish your yellow and violet sections here. All right, uh, check Canvas on the weekly agenda. There are some extra directions there uh, to help you out. Uh, I'm holding office hours this morning from 9 to 11. You received a Google invitation. If you have any questions or you're having a problem with something, you can pop in and talk to me. All right. Have a good day. Stay safe. Stay warm.